Hey guys, it's Luna, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about something that's a pretty big problem in the Roblox community and I honestly don't think it's talked about enough. And since I don't think it's talked about enough, I'm going to talk about it in my video. So as you could already see by the title, I'm going to be talking about and calling out some Roblox YouTubers that have been doing some stuff that uh, isn't good and they are literally always getting away with what they are doing and it's really annoying. Now, before we get into this video, I want to quickly mention to please not go harass or attack anyone that I mentioned in this video as that is never my intent and never solves anything and it just doesn't do any good for either party. The reason I'm making this video is to just spread awareness and make more people aware of it because honestly like I said in the beginning it's not talked about enough and I'm gonna be honest I'm a tiny bit scared to make this video considering all of the creators I'm talking about have millions of subscribers and I might get a little bit of people attacking me or a lot but you know what who cares we're just gonna throw ourselves into the dumpster fire because that's what I always do. If I see some bullcrap happening in the Roblox community, I gotta talk about it, okay? I need to express my rage somehow. So yeah, like I said, do not go attack anyone that mentioned in this video, and with that out of the way, let's get started. So, the main people that we are going to be talking about in this video today is Lankybox, Gaming with Kev, Roe v23, and Furious Jumper. All of these people are Roblox YouTubers who have millions of subscribers and get, like, millions of views all the time and are also in the star program. And all of them are doing some pretty shady stuff, if you ask me. And you know, you probably watch some of these people even and you probably support them, and that's fine and dandy. But you know what? I still want to make you aware of what they're doing, okay? I'm not telling you to cancel your faves after this, or I'm not telling you to go attack them or stop watching them. I just want you to be aware of what they're doing. So I normally don't do this, but I'm actually going to be talking about these people in a specific order, depending on how much they get called out. So first, I'm going to talk about the people that get called out the least for what they're doing, and at the end, I'm going to I'm gonna talk about the people who get called out the most for what they're doing. I will be leaving timestamps, in the description of my video as well as my pinned comment if you want to learn about a specific creator or you can just watch it normally and watch as much as you want to which I recommend because even if you don't support these people it's still good to know about them. So the first person that I'm going to be calling out today is Lankybox. Lankybox is another Roblox YouTuber with around nearly 6 million subscribers and I believe they are also in the star program as well. So before we get into this I just want to quickly say the reason I found out about this in the first place is because Albert made a post talking about Roblox YouTubers who copy other Roblox YouTubers and one of those people that he mentioned being Lankybox. And Albert says here in a thread, Lankybox never gets called out for it, but a ton of their videos are just hijacked from other people. Here's just one example of many. It's annoying because they just use people for money, lol. And as you can see in this screenshot, while both of the thumbnails do look kind of similar, that's not the main problem here. The main problem is the video in general. If you look at the titles, they're basically the exact same. I am Santa uploaded, I built a secret attic mansion on top of my best friend's house. House and adopt me. Linkybox builds a secret attic mansion on top of my best friend's adopt me house. See how similar those are? Like that's literally, there's no way that's a coincidence dude. That is literally the exact same title and the thing is, okay, people are allowed to make videos on the same topic but this is such a specific video idea that I can't get over it. Like I could see if they both made a similar video where the title is like trading neon pets to surprise people or something. Yeah like there's there's nothing wrong with that, but this is literally such a specific idea. They're building an attic on top of their best friend's house, and that's literally the exact same title. But don't worry, that's not the only example. So since I don't really watch a lot of Roblox YouTubers in general aside from commentary channels, when I went to Lankybox's channel to find some more examples of this, I was having a little bit of a hard time, so I actually went into Albert's DMs on Discord and I asked him for some screenshots and just more examples of Lankybox doing this. And oh boy, he sent me a lot dude. Like bro, he sent me way more than I thought there was. So anyways, thank you so much Albert for providing me with more examples because I couldn't find them myself. So there's probably more, but here's like one example of a thumbnail idea being stolen basically by Linkybox. But that's not the main problem that we're going to be talking about with Linkybox because Linkybox doesn't really exactly have a super super big problem with copying thumbnails, but they more so have a problem with uh, stealing video ideas completely. For example, a a year ago, Leah Ash uploaded a video titled Throwing a Dart at a Map and Trading Whatever Pet It Lands On, Adopt Me Pet Update. Then Linkybox uploads Linkybox Throwing a Dart at a Map and Doing Whatever It Lands On Challenge in Roblox Adopt Me. And as you can see, like, you know, that's basically the same title, same idea, but it wasn't their idea, obviously. Ten months ago, Megan Plays uploads How I Traded From Nothing to Legendary. Then Linkybox uploads Can We Beat the Nothing to Legendary Trading Challenge in Roblox Adopt Me, which is, again, literally 
literally the exact same idea of Megan's video. Trading the most hated pets in Adopt Me. Trading the most hated pets in Adopt Me. Four months ago from 3SB Games, Poor vs. Rich a Challenge in Adopt Me. Two weeks ago from Lanky Box, Poor vs. Rich Challenge in Adopt Me. But yeah, as you can see, they are literally copying other people's ideas and normally I would say you can't copyright an idea. But the thing is, these ideas are so specific that it's too much to be a coincidence. They're purposely putting in basically the same title, the same exact video, and some people may be like, well, Sona, maybe they're just taking a lot of inspiration from these people. You know, maybe they're just inspired by the original videos. Once again, there is a very big difference between being heavily inspired and blatant copying. You literally cannot call this a coincidence. And listen, okay, you know, maybe this wouldn't be as bad if they at least credited the original source that they got the idea from, maybe putting the original video idea from the original uploader in the description, because, you know, it's pretty clear that they took their idea. You think that maybe they had at least mentioned in their video that they are inspired by another video, but guess what? They don't do that. If they see that a video idea is doing really, really well for another person, then they will take that idea and do it themselves and put more keywords in the title in order to get more into the algorithm than the original person, sometimes even resulting in their video doing better than the original video idea. For example, this video right here by Our Fire Plays Roblox, Cold vs. Hot Challenge. Then one month later, Linky Box does Cold vs. Hot Challenge. And all I do is change the title up a little bit to make it sound better so that they get more into the algorithm. And what do you know? They get way, way more views than the original person's idea. And what's this? Nowhere in the description do I see them crediting the original uploader of the idea idea. Literally nowhere. And it's like this for every video that they copy. They took this video idea from the original creator, who is also a much smaller creator than them, and they basically screwed their video over and took all of the views. They are abusing their power, and they are abusing the amount of subscribers they have. They are ripping off other content creators that do not deserve this treatment, and they are literally just using them for money. Another small creator, Honey the Unicorn Roblox, made a video called I Traded Only Legendary Evil Unicorns and Adopt Me for 24 Hours. Then a while after, Linky Box uploads, can we beat the trading legendary evil unicorns only challenge in Adopt Me? So that's literally the same exact idea, and they got way, way more views than the original person did. Do you think that's fair? Because I don't. And again, no crediting in the description whatsoever. And I actually looked up their name on Twitter to see if anyone was calling them out on this, and the only thing I found was people talking about it after Albert made his callout post. Other than that, literally nothing calling them out on this. Like, dude, please, do your own video ideas or at the very least credit these people. This is honestly so selfish. Just stop using people for money. You are literally part of the star program. You can do better than this. But instead you'd rather just screw smaller creators over and take their ideas. Like this is such a bigger problem than people think it is. All of the views that you got on your video compared to the original creator, that could have gone to them. But you didn't even do so much as even promote the original video. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry guys, like this just makes me so angry. They're obviously using these people, they're taking advantage of these smaller creators and the fact that they have more subscribers and <sighs> they're just using it for money. I just really don't see how you can do this without feeling bad or scummy. Like, come on dude, you can do better than this. I know you can. You just gotta make the effort to do it, but who knows if that'll happen, who knows. I know some people may not see this as bad as people copying other Roblox YouTubers thumbnails, but you need to keep in mind, ideas are so so hard to come up with. Seriously, I sit for hours sometimes trying to come up with a video idea. The people who originally had these ideas definitely put effort into them and were original and actually try at what they do. Like imagine you just come up with a completely original idea and you're proud of it and then some random person with a bunch of subscribers just takes your idea and doesn't credit you at all. So yeah, I hope people understand my point of view on that. Linky Box literally never gets called out for this. And in general, I just think it's really a much bigger problem than other people make it out to be. So the next person that we're going to be talking about is Gaming with Kev. You also may know this dude, he has like 7 million subscribers as well and he's also in the star program and he gets a pretty decent amount of views. The problem I have with him isn't his content itself, it's his thumbnails. So right off the bat, you may have heard of the situation before, but around a year ago, a pretty popular Roblox YouTuber that goes by the name of Dennis Daly actually made a callout post on Kevin captioned, Hey Kevin, please stop. And in the images that he has attached to this post, you can see that he is comparing Kevin's and his thumbnails side by side. So on the left, you will see Dennis 
Dennis's thumbnails, and on the right you will see Kevin's thumbnails. And of course, as you can see on the left, Dennis had uploaded his videos first, making his thumbnails the original thumbnails. And as you can see on the right, Kevin's videos are uploaded months after Dennis's. And I'm sure you've obviously noticed by now, but as you can see, these look very, very similar compared side by side. They have very few minor differences, and they just look nearly identical aside from the character being a different one in Kevin's. And if you didn't get the hint, basically Dennis is implying that Kevin is copying his thumbnails. And you know, I gotta admit, I 100% agree. Um, he's obviously copying his thumbnails, there's no question about that. Like, bruh, just look at some of these. You cannot make this up. Like, these are just way too similar to be a coincidence. And the list just goes on and on. Like, there's just so many of these. It's absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, needless to say, Kevin was copying Dennis's thumbnails. And of course, Dennis was not very happy about that as he literally hires people to make his thumbnails for him and come up with the ideas meaning that his thumbnail artist's original ideas are literally being stolen by Kevin and his thumbnail artists. And of course, obviously, after seeing that he's literally copying Dennis's thumbnails, a lot of people got really mad at this and upset at this. Oh, but that's not the only thing that Kevin does. He doesn't just copy Dennis's thumbnails. He also has copied other YouTubers, such as Flamingo. As you can see in this call-out post, where literally on Twitter, Flamingo is asking Kevin to stop also copying his thumbnails as well, because not only is Kevin copying Flamingo's thumbnails, but he is even going as so far as to take faces that Albert paid an artist to hand draw for him and put it onto his own thumbnails. So like, it's literally just stealing art at this point. Yeah, so that's just, that's just so lame. Literally copying and pasting an artist's work that someone paid for them to do for them specifically and then just taking it and putting it on your own thumbnail. That's pretty lame. So yeah, that's basically what happened with Kevin a while back. I think that cooled down for a tiny bit because I didn't hear about it that much after that. But unfortunately, nothing good lasts forever because it happened again. A few days ago, Dennis posted this and as you can see in this picture this is a video that Dennis made like a year ago and then it shows a video that Kevin made three days ago I don't know about you guys but that looks pretty similar I know some people may argue that there's some minor differences but does that really matter that much the idea the concept like literally everything else is basically stolen from this so I still think it's safe to call it a copy I mean the main difference is that there's a different pair of eyeballs so and not that long ago it also happened with another random youtuber and as you can see this is the original and this is the version that Kevin made. Like, dude, the characters are basically just switched out and that's it. Come on, try a little bit harder next time. So needless to say, I guess this hasn't stopped. And as you may have already guessed, Kevin actually isn't the only one that does this. Unfortunately, many Roblox YouTubers actually do this as well. Kevin is basically just the main one that has been called out for this. The others, not nearly as much. So a lot of people are way less aware of it. Another pretty big example of someone who copies other Roblox YouTubers' thumbnails is a YouTuber that goes by the name of Roby23. Roby23 is basically a Spanish Roblox YouTuber that has around like 4 to 5 million subscribers, which is still a ton of people. And even though they haven't gotten called out as much as Kevin did, they they still have gotten called out for doing what they do and of course that's copying other Roblox YouTubers thumbnails obviously. Here are some lovely examples, just kidding that's not lovely that's terrible, of them copying other YouTubers thumbnails. This picture is specifically showing them copying thumbnails from Flamingo. And these look so similar that I'm just gonna say right off the bat, I think some of these are actually worse than Kevin's. Like honestly at this point they're better off just directly taking the thumbnail and putting in their character making no changes whatsoever because honestly there's basically no difference here besides that. Like, stop it with trying to make the color slightly darker. No one cares. We all know what you're doing. <laughs> There's really no point in trying to make it slightly different because either way, it's still basically an exact copy. No one's actually gonna give a crap about those minor differences. Oh yeah, also look at this lovely face that Albert's artist made for him for his thumbnail. Looks great, right? Well, I guess Rovi23 thought that this drawing looks so good that he decided to put the whole thing in his thumbnail. So yeah, not only did Kevin steal art, but so did Rovi23. Wow, what a coincidence. I bet they're both just lovely people who totally care about the artist's feelings. That was obviously sarcasm. Oh yeah, you guys probably aren't surprised anymore at this point, but here's another YouTuber called Furious Jumper, who is a French YouTuber with, yet again, millions of subscribers that also steals thumbnails from Roblox YouTubers. Well, I mean copy, but at this point they might as well be stealing them, right? So I'm not gonna waste my time showing you all of them because that would take two hours. But here are some examples of him copying Dennis's thumbnails, as shown 
shown here. Looks pretty similar. The one tiny tiny half ounce of credit that I will give this guy is that the styles of the art are at least a little bit different, but I mean, how much credit can you give him for that? He's still basically copying the idea directly. Oh yeah, and here's an Albert thumbnail that he copied, by the way. Oh, <sighs> so yeah, needless to say, there are so, so many examples of YouTubers with millions of subscribers in the Roblox community doing this, which is obviously not okay, but unfortunately, you know, there isn't a whole lot that we can do about it, so they kind of just get away with it. And what makes it worse is that most of these people are in the star program. They are literally partnered with Roblox in the star program, and they do stuff like this. So yeah, that's pretty upsetting. And one thing that is good to mention is that these people most likely do have thumbnail artists who are the ones doing this. And I can't speak as much for Rovi and Furious Jumper, as I don't know a whole lot about them. But at this point, there isn't really that much of an excuse for Kevin anymore, considering he has actually responded to this drama. And instead of apologizing and saying that he won't do it again, he's just tried to defend himself by saying in this post that uh, Dennis copied him according to these two thumbnails, which these are both and inspired from something that already exists and that's what the videos are about so Dennis was not copying him. They both took inspiration from the original sources which is completely fine. So yeah Kevin has literally been called out so much for this and he and it has still happened a few times as of recently and judging from the way that he's been handling the situation it really seems like he doesn't care in my opinion. You know the people that get called out for doing this literally don't care because they can just sit back and not change a single thing and just keep doing what they're doing because there's no consequences aside from people getting angry at them and they get away with it because there really is not much that we can do about it but at the very least I am still able to inform people on this and what's happening so you know at least people actually know about it one person that is very very affected by the situation directly who is also Albert's main thumbnail artist as well as a UGC creator in the program of Roblox actually let me have their thoughts on this because I reached out to them and see if they wanted to say anything because obviously they're directly affected by this by the situation as their art and thumbnails that they made for Albert has literally been stolen, and they had this to say. I'm honestly pretty disappointed, but not surprised that this has been a consistent issue with people like Kevin, Roby, and others. This isn't even the first time that I've called out the issue. Albert has too, and they just laugh it off or completely ignore it. I've even sent emails to YouTubers stealing from me and asking them to stop, and I've been ignored. There needs to be consequences for these people. It's the exact same as stealing actual art. They are literally using my work and others' work without our consent to attract viewers. What's worse is that these people have Roblox star creator status, yet are literal thieves and ignorant people. These people influence the Roblox community. I made a point to mention like why don't you just buy stock photos to use instead of stealing. These YouTubers can afford to pay an artist like me a fair wage to make their thumbnails and if they can't afford it then just buy stock photos or draw it themselves. It's that simple. Yet they choose to steal from us because they're too cheap to pay someone to make original work. And I completely agree with everything that she just said honestly. These people make so much money they could easily hire hire someone to come up with their own ideas for their thumbnails instead of literally hiring people who will steal ideas for their thumbnails and also steal art. And well, if they did make their thumbnails themselves, then that just proves my point further on how scummy this is. As an artist myself, I can imagine that Danny feels very frustrated from this and very upset. And unfortunately, she isn't the only person that this happens to. This happens to so many others, including someone called Lelinix, who is also a very, very, very good artist. Uh, if you're watching this, I really hope I pronounced your name right, I'm sorry. And it isn't just YouTubers that do this. People who are in the Roblox community who are quote unquote thumbnail artists looking for work and offering to make thumbnail art for Roblox YouTubers to get paid literally put others art in their portfolios. Here's an example. Hey Roblox YouTubers, please don't do business with this guy. He's legit kind of copying and pasting the faces that I drew for Jake's thumbnails for his clients. It's pretty upsetting to see that so many people have been unknowingly stealing my work because of this guy. And uh, the person deleted the post, but I took screenshots beforehand. So this is their quote unquote portfolio of the thumbnails that they made according to them that they are showing. And a lot of these faces are actually taken from Lelinix, who is the original artist. And people who have seen Lelinix's art style quite a few times would automatically know right off the bat that these are made by her because her style is just so unique and amazing. So yeah, this dude literally just took her faces and put it onto his quote unquote portfolio so that he can get hired for stealing 
stuff, basically. Unfortunately, this isn't the only case. This has actually happened many times, and I'm- I, I feel terrible for these artists. Like, they don't deserve to be treated this way. They work so hard, and then these people just go and take their work. Like, come on, dude. And again, like I said before, there's probably so many more people that do this kind of stuff. You know, there's art thieves everywhere, dude. Everywhere. There's always people that's gonna want to take something from you if you're successful, and that's just how it is. But it's still really unfortunate that it happens. So yeah, please go support Polar Cubs and Lilinix on Twitter. They are amazing artists, and they're also very, very sweet people. Polar Cubs is also actually a UGC creator in Roblox and makes some really, really dope items, so you should also go check her out on there too. But yeah, like, I really just wanted to share my opinions on this as an artist because this is just so wrong, and it's like, obviously, the number one sin in the art community is to steal art from others, and you know, yeah. <laughs> I've actually had people steal art from me before and claim it as their own, but that's for another time. But yeah, like I said in the beginning of this video, I just really wanted to call these people out because not enough people were talking about it, and aside from people being mad at them sometimes, in general, they don't really have many consequences for this. They're literally in the star program, they have millions of supporters, and they do this kind of stuff. And, you know, I'm not saying that they're bad creators in general, because I'm sure their videos are funny or whatever. I'm just saying, this specific thing that they're doing is bad and they should stop. But again, like I said, there isn't a whole lot that we can do about it, unfortunately, and one of the main things that we can do is spread awareness of it to the best of our ability, and that's why I made this video. So like I said, please don't attack anyone that I mentioned in this video that, again, never solves anything. Really hope this video uh, helps people understand the situation more, I hope it spread awareness, and always feel free to share it around so that more people find out about it too, and if you want, feel free to subscribe because I make Roblox art content all the time. And this video was actually really, really hard for me to make and it took a very long time, so please leave a like. And for anyone wondering, yes, I am going to be making another speed paint video soon. I haven't done one of those in a while. I've just been doing commentary, but one of those are coming soon, so stay tuned. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!